Hello to you all, welcome back to Gaming Hangar, and today I will present in this video, I think, in my opinion, the best gear to use in Generation Zero. And of, I repeat, this is my opinion, and I will explain you why. I will start with the key VM 59 machine gun this one this is the beast I call it a beast because it has the highest firepower from all the weapons in the game and I upgrade it with um, extended magazine max level five stars that means I will have 250 bullets in the clip so that's enough to shred out a tank to the pieces with just one clip but the problem is with this one it has the advantage of the highest firepower uh, the disadvantage is that it has a very high recoil so if you use it at long range it will has a very low accuracy like you can see because of the high recoil this one is better for close combat, like very short to even to medium range. And another thing is that it's much better to equip it with the Red Dude Scalp. It will increase the accuracy a little bit, rather than to use without any, uh, like the classic aim. Okay, uh, this KVM-59 has also a gun compensator. This gun compensator from here, it will help me reduce the recoil a little bit, but it's it's worth it. So, this one, it's the beast, the shredder, <laughs> when it comes to... Oh! <laughs> Look at that, what we have here. <laughs> Here comes the cavalry. Okay, so this one is for medium range to short, short range to medium range. The second one that I'm using is this beauty. This is um, PVG90 experimental. This thing rocks. This thing rocks because it will kill everything in this path. It has the highest power just a moment now here comes the tank and I will use because it's too cl it's close enough I will load my clip entirely with the 250 Okay, and I will try to destroy this tank. Okay, these dogs yeah, are annoying me. Let's start. Just a moment! Best way to do that is get from behind and destroy this. Down with the tank. Whoa, so many enemies. Let's throw something. Yes, right. I hope I get here alive. So that was... I told you this gun. This machine gun. Rocks. No, this is the beast, sorry. <laughs> Let's see what I got. Okay. 
And now, let's go for a room. This one. As I said, this is the most beautiful gun rifle from the entire game. This is I'm using only for very long range and long range sniping. So it's if you want to avoid a close combat with a tank, you can use this to take him out from a very long range, even far, uh, even outside his range of fire. That's very cool with this gun. And of course, this one I have upgraded with a max extended PVG 90 magazine that will give me 18 rounds per clip. And 18 rounds, it's enough to take down a tank, a tank uh, in adventure mode. So that's very, very good weapon if you want to snipe it. And because it's an experimental one, has a low rate of fire than the 5 star PVG 90s, but this has an advantage of uh, having the rail system, rail gun system, that will increase the velo velocity of the bullet fired. So it will make it more dangerous than the uh, PVG 90 that is not experimental the other ones. Okay, well, let's test it on this harvester. So, eight bullets and the harvester is down. Of course, I will keep this uh, PVG-90 experimental with a 6 to 2, 12 uh, zoom scope and the thing is uh, it's not the highest zoom scope in the game it's 8 to 16 the highest but this one has an advantage that will give me the sides so it it it's very easy to aim it's much easier to aim than the 8 to 16 uh, scope and I can use it also, also from a close range for uh, sniping. The third one is, of course, the Cloak 17 Experimental. This thing, this thing is unique, and it. Just a moment. I have upgraded with uh, 25 Clock S17 extended magazine and uh, it should be enough to kill two or three dogs with just one clip of bullets. The next, the fourth. Okay, the fourth, uh, I will, in the 4K, I set up the binocular. And I use often the binocular, uh, especially my strategy is, for example, when I'm uh, in a, a low plane fields, for example, I can use the uh, binoculars to set to the thermal vision and to see the hidden uh, robots behind the trees or from far, very far distance. And this is mo the most useful thing in this kind of uh, binocular. And of course, uh, compared to the rifle thermal vision, the binocular has an extended sight. And you can be much farther. The fifth key I use only for advanced first aid kit or anything that is related to review my health. The sixth key I'm using here the 
emergency flare, but the sticky one. And I think this one is much better than the emergency flare classic because it's sticky, of course, and you can stick it to an enemy. One of my strategies, for example, when I'm surrounded by the enemy robots, uh, tanks, dogs, or hunters, for example, I will throw one sticky flare to one on to one enemy, I will run out, I will let them fight between them, and just, I will, tr after that, I will throw a grenade inside the circle, inside them, between them, and this is one of my strategy, and with one grenade I can kill about three, four, five dogs from one shot. It's, it's better than to engage everyone in a single fight. Of course, uh, I'm returning to my first weapon, the, uh, this uh, KVM-59 machine gun. Uh, I think this one is much better than the KVM-89 uh, machine gun. gun. This will uh, is using the 7x62 ammunition, and that KVM-89 is using the 5.56 millimeter ammunition. This one has a better range and a better damage, but compared to the KVM-89, it has a bigger recoil also because of the higher caliber. And I know that in this game, uh, many of you will judge me that why I'm not using the KVM-59 experimental because the answer is I didn't get one yet and I don't know why. The experimental weapon of this uh, KVM-59 is very very rare. I didn't get one and I played hundreds of hours of uh, Generation Zero. And I hope I will find one or some big enemy like tank or harvester arrival will drop it sometimes where after I will kill them. So that's it. my gear. My opinion is I think it's the best gear that you can have. Of course, if you have other options, please uh, please leave a comment below. I am very eager to find, uh, and every every comment I will appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And this is Gaming Hangar. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.